Well, good morning, and it's a pleasure to be here with you today. My name is Deacon Tony Giordano. I'm one of the uh, deacons that's assigned to our grouping, and I'm usually down in the Valley uh, parishes, and so it's an opportunity for us to do a little switch this weekend. So Deacon Tom is down at the Valley parishes and along with Deacon Jim, and, and I'm up here today to, to be with you. So as I said, it's a, it's a privilege and an honor to be with you. Uh, one of my main duties down in the Valley is, uh, I'm usually the brunt of Father Mike's zingers during his homilies. So uh, that's one of my main duties, and, and he's usually very good at it. But don't worry, Father Mike, he, he, I'm not going to zing you today. He's taking a joke, believe it. So here we are. It, it's Lent. It's hard to believe that we are into the Lenten season again already. And this Lenten season is going to be a, a little bit of a challenge for, for each and every one of us because we're still in the middle of that pandemic, you know, and it's like, you know, haven't we given up enough? I mean, we have to wear these masks. So I'm ready to rip this off and be done with it. Um, you know, we're restricted to go to uh, go go out to have dinner or go uh, visit friends or visit family. And we say, isn't that enough? Here we are. We might think that our soul is stretched enough. We might think that we've already walked through the desert. But guess what? We have to walk through that desert again. We might think we've given it our all, but have we truly given our all? What do we need to make this Lent a truly holy experience? You know, we heard those words in the gospel. Our gospel reading today is a very simple gospel reading, but very profound. We heard those beautiful words, turn away and be faithful to the gospel. Not only do those words mark the beginning of this Lenten journey for us, but it also reveals the purpose. You see, I'm not one of those people who say, yeah, what did you give up for Lent? Mm, that's not me. I don't give up chocolate. I don't give up ice cream. Uh, I don't give up social media. I'm a social media junkie. Uh, but... What I truly try to do is, is spend some extra time in prayer, listening to what God is saying to me, listening, going into that desert and listening to his word. That's a good part of what we need to do during Lent. Yes, it's great to say, oh, I could give up something, you know, that little bit of fasting, is great for all of us. You know, we, 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 we put on those extra pounds during the winter and, and this is a good time for us to, to digress a little bit and, and to take that extra weight away. That's good. But that prayer is so important. That prayer is so important. And you know, turning away from sin and being faithful to the gospel is great. But guess what? It doesn't happen overnight. We don't achieve that Mother Teresa level of holiness overnight. No, it's a journey. So that is what Lent is. It's a journey. So let us journey together into that desert. Let's go into that desert where Jesus went into that desert for 40 days. We're going into that desert for 40 days. Think of the Israelites and Moses. They journeyed for 40 years. Our 40 days is a drop in the bucket compared to what Moses and the Israelites did looking for the promised land on that journey. So what does the desert look like for each and every one of us? What well, is a desert? It's a very quiet place, very desolate. There's not a lot of greenery around or a lot of plants around. The desert could be very windy. The desert could be very hot. At night, the desert could be very cold. But feeling those, 
elements of the desert can truly help us in our Lenten journey. In that desert that we journey to, we try to have no distractions. We try to have that quietness, that stark quietness of the land. Just as Jesus went into the desert for 40 days to pray and to reflect, to hear the word of his father day in and day out. That's what our journey is for each and every one of us this Lenten season, a journey to hear God's voice, a journey to hear that word and to reflect on it. We need to truly make this Lenten season a time of preparation, a time of true peace, a time of true joy. That's what we do to live out our Lenten journey. So I ask you to take a look deep inside your heart to see where your personal desert is today, to reflect on it day in and day out. And as we get to Holy Week, to see where we are in our desert on the Lenten journey. And if we do these very simple things of prayer, fasting, and some type of almsgiving, our journey will be a lot lighter. Our journey will be more fruitful. Our journey will be more joyful. Today at this Mass, we also have our catechumens with us who will be journeying to the cathedral today for the rite of acceptance. So we pray for them this Lenten journey. This Lenten journey is very special for them too, even more profound as they're preparing to become members of our church, members of our family. So I ask you too to please remember them in this Lenten season and to include them into your prayers. Pray for them for their journey. Pray for them that they will be strengthened also on their journey and that we'll, we'll accept them and, and bring them into our faith community at the Easter Vigil, where they will be baptized, receive First Eucharist, and be confirmed. Their journey is even more powerful for each and every one of them this year. So we ask God to, to bless them, to protect them, and to be with them every day. And may your journey of Lent for each and every one of you be one of true blessing.